What is going on guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode, this is the second episode in a new series of course after the last one unfortunately seemed to go corrupt and uh, yeah hopefully you're enjoying this, um, I'm sort of doing all three commentaries uh, in one night and to be honest I was thinking about taking a break from YouTube, things have been really difficult for me lately for uh, personal reasons but uh, I've been talking to a very nice girl and she convinced me that it's best to just keep on going and ride the storm so yeah thanks for her <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm uh, gonna try and keep doing daily uploads I mean it is difficult trust me with things being the way they are at the moment but um, I'm gonna try and keep doing daily uploads because I know you guys uh, deserve it and um, yeah uh, basically I should just keep on going but uh, we start the season off here of course with Blackburn Rovers taking on Barnsley in the Capital One Cup and I just showed the sliders again because I don't know I mean it gets to the point where I literally just think, you know, I'm not having someone sit there in my videos saying, you're playing on amateur, you're using sliders. I just cannot stand it when people seem to be so transfixed that someone is cheating. What have I got to prove, seriously? But anyway, I'll try and show them once an episode. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just stop after a while, but I don't know. Um, one thing I was going to do here was try and sign Paolo Gazzaniga now, because he is obviously the sexiest man in the world. I uh, obviously... You know, signed Andros Townsend on loan, and he wasn't on the loan list. Gazaniga's not on the loan list, so I thought, you know, maybe I can hopefully get him to sign as well. But I wasn't too hopeful, but I was also trying to sign this guy. One of the main reasons is because he's got an underscore at the end of his name. That's so cool, but I'm pretty sure that that can't be real. That cannot be real. Florin Gardo underscore. That cannot be real. But uh, yeah, tell me below if you know that guy, not personally, but if you know who he is, does he seriously have an underscore at the end of his name? I mean, unless you've got like a double barrel name, I can't think of anyone that's got that. But uh, yeah, that would be crazy. But uh, yeah, I was trying to sign him and of course get Gaz and Niger in uh, on loan because of course we've only got two goalkeepers at the moment and the other one is a, uh, a loan sign, I think. But uh, we have to take on Barnsley at Oakwell again, this time uh, for the first game in the league as opposed to a Capital One Cup game. And we took the lead here with an amazing cross by Olsen and what a header by Josh King. I think he and Jordan Rhodes are going to be an amazing partnership this season. So 1 0 to final score, absolutely delighted to get three points from the first game. And uh, I was just so delighted because straight after the game Southampton uh, sent us an email and Nigel Atkins yeah, says yeah you can take out uh, Paolo if you want so yeah I was just fucking absolutely delighted to get Paolo I mean obviously you know I, I absolutely love the guys you guys know and if you follow me on Twitter link below <laughs> you will know that I literally it's a good thing I don't live in Southampton because I would literally be going around every single house knocking on the door trying to find him but uh, yeah we get a scouting update here I think I sign one of these guys and reject the other two and leave this guy just to continue the scouting. Uh, as I said before I'm not entirely sure how well scouting is going to go on this series but hopefully it's good but uh, I couldn't resist doing this I had to turn Paolo Gazzaniga's number to 69 because I don't know, I just wanted to fall in my mind for a while, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I also turned Kurt Zuma's number from 2 to 5, the reason being is because I think five's more a centre-back number, 2 is a more right-back number in my opinion, and you know, number 5 is a much better number for a centre-back, so with that in mind, um, I've changed the numbers of those two players for two completely different reasons, but uh, Florin Gardo underscore uh, wanted a, I think he said at first he wanted a better contract offer or something like that, he wants to understand the role of the club, it's pretty cool how players don't all Always sort of say it's all about the money they want a better role at the club that's that's pretty cool I kind of like that about this game I don't think that was in FIFA 12 but maybe I was wrong I don't know I can't remember but uh, the next game is against Wolves the second game of the Empire Championship season and uh, to be honest this game was a real sort of early six point clash because Wolves obviously a team that came down with Blackburn last season for the Premiership and um, you know I thought to myself this will be an early six pointer game so I need to be on my A game but my defending once again is just really poor I mean I don't know what happened to my centre backs here they just seem to part of the middle and there was a simple finish for Jamie O'Hara but um, <clears throat> to be honest I know my defending is really poor don't get me wrong but uh, I am doing my best to sort of solve that because it's it's one of those things where really, you know to to get to be successful with any team you need to have a strong defense and obviously in my last manager my series I was really poor defensively but I started to pick it up and uh, you know hopefully with uh, Kurt Zuma in the side I can be a lot better defensively this time around because he is just an absolute animal 
uh, at centre back. But uh, I'll bring on Michelle Weiser here in a triple substitution, the man on loan from Bayern Munich. He's so awesome off the bench. He's a great impact player. He really does inject that bit of pace you need uh, with the last few minutes to go. And he scores the goal here to surely make sure we'll get the three points. Wolves did manage to score in injury time. It was Jamie O'Hara once again after Sylvain de Banks played, uh, played the ball to Carl Henry, who fizzed the ball across to the former Portsmouth midfielder. But it finishes 3 2. It's six points from two games. Absolutely delighted. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode tomorrow afternoon.